Hey y'all! Thank you for coming back and watching another video. So for today's video, I really do not have like an agenda, a well thought out like timeline or anything that we're gonna talk about. We're just gonna sit here and do a little bit of girl talk or guy talk, I'm not gonna discriminate. We're just gonna have like a heartfelt conversation because I genuinely wanna check in on you guys. I love the community that we have online. Um, you know, I really feel like social media and YouTube gets a bad rap sometimes but not a lot of people take the time to commend just the great support system that you can build, the amount of engagement and community and empowerment that you can get on social media as well. Some of my most popular videos or blog posts or even Instagram posts, there's just so much positivity, like moms connecting with other moms or just people just lifting each other up. So I really do care about the community. I really do care about how you guys are doing with everything that's going on, the race wars, COVID, just the uncertainty of what's going on in the world right now and the uncertainty of how the hell are we balancing as human beings? How in the actual hell are we getting through this? Of course, with the help of God, prayer, meditation, maybe some vices. I don't, I don't know what y'all doing in your free time, but how in the hell have we been able to manage and cope as, as human beings? You are still here and that in itself shows how strong you are. So I really just wanted to check on you guys. I'm gonna be doing my makeup as well. Now, quick side note, if you are here to check on the winners from the Instagram giveaway that I was currently running, um, I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure when I hit over a million views, but I know last time I checked it was over a million views on my channel. So I was running a giveaway that ended um, last night, 731, to give away three of my worthy shirts. If you are not caught up, I do own a business called My Evolution. I'm currently selling shirts that I design and then handmade oils, which I actually have one here. It's my baby. This is my Nourish oil. So I'll talk a little bit more about Nourish in a future video, but I do want you to check out my website. It's lovemyevolution.com. Little plug there. But anyways, I was running a giveaway. Um, just a good way for me to kind of merge my two worlds. So like I said, I hit over a million views on YouTube and then I wanted to offer something for my store. So I was giving away three of my worthy shirts. If you're here to check on the winners, just go ahead and look in the comment section because I have the three people that were randomly selected, do not come for me, the three people that were randomly selected to win a shirt. So check out the comments. Um, you know what I haven't thought out? How in the hell I'm gonna get in touch with the winners? Leave a comment down below. Actually, you know what? No. Send me a DM, DM on Instagram if you are one of the people. Send me a, a, a DM and then we'll connect that way because I do want to get your shirt out to you as soon as possible. Like I said, we're just going to kind of connect here. I'm just going to get my hair out of my face. We're just kind of going to connect. Obviously, it's not going to be a two-way conversation because I'm talking to a camera. But you guys leave comments for me down below. Hit me up on um, Instagram. You know, I really do want to talk to you and check on you and see how you're doing. It's crazy. Um, and I've actually been wanting to... What I'm going to do first, I'm sorry. This, I, listen, I don't know how people have get ready with me videos and talk. So you guys pray for me because I feel like this is going to be a conversation that is all over the place. So I'm going to try to get ready, show you the products that I'm using, and still carry on a normal conversation as well. Lord, please be with me because I pray that this is not a crazy video. Um... But really quick, since I am going outside, we're going to take the kids to the park and I'm not doing a full face. I'm literally just putting on like a little bit of concealer, some powder, maybe some mascara and gloss and that's it. So I'm doing a very simple, very simple uh, get ready with me today. So let me put on my sunscreen first. But what I was going to say is at some point when I feel uh, not comfortable, but when I... I'm working on a blog post, um, kind of stepping my foot into um, my experience and my journey with anxiety and depression. 
And it's not that I'm embarrassed or ashamed or anything, but it's like, I just don't want to talk about my experiences and then just leave it at that. I would like to offer resources. I would like to try different things and then provide a little bit of, um, you know, help or suggestions on what's helping me. So it's an, it's an ongoing journey, obviously. It's something that I'm not going to say struggling with, but it's something that I am surviving with. It's something that I am learning through and growing with. So as I'm trying things and as I'm learning things, I'm kind of just in my research phase right now, if you will. But because I'm kind of going through that, you know, live time, you may start to see some of my content touch very mildly, very mildly on depression, anxiety, and stress and things like that. And not to bring a darkness to what I'm offering or putting out there to the world, but just to kind of show people like, listen, you're not alone. It's okay to feel this way. You just don't want to stay in that space, if that makes sense. So honor your feelings, you know, get in touch with the way that you're feeling, recognize them, write things down, set goals, but you have to come up with a plan, whether it's medication, controversial for controversial for some people but it is what it is whether it's medication whether it's diet change whether it's um, seeking professional help whether it's getting a better support system whatever you decide to do for your journey there will come a time where you're going to have to figure out a way to elevate out of that so I say all that to say um I, I would like to offer more resources and support and suggestions. Um, but as I'm going through things, you know, I'm a realist. I always keep it real on my, on my platforms and that's what you're going to see. But you're also gonna see the good. So I recently changed my tagline on Instagram to feel good black motherhood because I tried for so long, there I go again with my not multitasking self. I tried for so long this is my concealer, Born This Way, which is one of my favorites, and it's in the shade Warm Sand. But I tried for so long to kind of, I don't want to say follow, but I, in my head, I had an idea of what a blogger or Instagrammer or an influencer's content should look like. You know, let me post cute selfies or let me go to cute places and, and look at the ground or like laugh or you know, like things like that. And it's not really authentic to my story. You may see some photos like that or you may see some poses like that, but it's not authentic for me. It doesn't feel authentic and it doesn't, for me, I'm not really sharing my story or experiences with you. So I'm a mother that happens to have natural hair her children, you know, has natural hair, has, has curly hair, kinky hair. Um, I like healthy remedies. I like wellness. I like balance. I like talking about self-care. So what's the best way that I can merge all of those things and bring that type of content to my platform? For me, that's talking about being real, being a mother, and to me, feel good black motherhood is I'm parenting black children in this world, so I have to keep it real. We're going to have those conversations. Um, but also, you're going to see the joy. You're going to see what I love about being a mother. You're going to see what I'm teaching my children, which, by the way, that's a whole other conversation since we're doing homeschooling this fall. But you're going to see, you know, what I'm teaching my children. You're going to see the trials, the tribulations. You're going to see the ups, the downs. I'm going to share my bad days with you. I'm going to share the joy. I'm going to share the love. I'm going to share our experiences and our stories. So that's kind of the transition that I'm making um, as a creative, just getting in touch with what my purpose is. And I really think that my purpose is sharing my experiences as a mother, as a previous teacher that now wants to offer, um, you know, learning resources and learning tools for families and children and parents. Um, and I think that with me kind of making that seamless transition, it's not like I'm saying, oh, I'm not going to do beauty videos anymore or I'm not going to do hair care videos anymore. But I think for me, with me just saying, hey, I'm now including these things into my content on a regular basis, um, that's been um, a good transition for me. 
And I say transition even lightly because last night I was going through my old blog posts, just kind of, you know, clean up my blog and revive some posts, make them more relevant, add some fresher images, just, you know, trying to upgrade things on my end. Um, and I saw that I used to write a lot about my experiences as a mother. Like when I first had Genesis, a lot of my blog posts were about being a, being a young mom, you know, and the experiences that I had, how I would take care of her, how I would care for her hair, when I got pregnant with Nasir and the feelings that I had there, when I was on in the hospital on bed rest with him. I wrote a lot about being a mother and I really did not realize how much I miss that. I miss sharing those genuine experiences and like I said a lot of my content and my material although I get comments on you know like my natural hair videos and my beauty videos I would say probably the most um, support the most encouragement the most positivity comes from my videos about my experience as a mom you know my video here on YouTube where I'm talking about postpartum shedding is probably one of I don't think it's one of the most viewed videos but it's a video that has a lot of comments with women sharing their experiences saying this video helped me so much I feel so much better I, I understand I'm not crazy it's normal um, thank you for creating this video and that makes me feel so good as a creative that I'm offering some type of value, that I'm making someone feel seen and heard and important. And that's my video stop gel. But um, that's the feeling. That's why I do what I do. So I want to keep that feeling going for me. You know, it's a two way street. I'm offering value, hopefully and you are giving me feedback and I'm feeling encouraged and inspired by your stories and you just saying that I'm helping you. So that's what it's all about for me. Um, but let's talk about this year. <laughs> so this year has been intense and insane and as I'm patting this into my face, I realized that I did not put on my Nourish Oil that's totally okay. We'll do it in the next video because I don't want to put the oil on top and then my powder start to run and bleed. But um, this year has been crazy, right? So I mildly mentioned that we decided to homeschool our kids this fall. If you're following my journey on social media, you know that I have a six-year-old now. Isn't this crazy? We started when Genesis was like... I want to say she was a year or maybe a little less than a year and now she's six turning seven this fall <sighs> it's insane but um so she's going into the first grade so she will be going into the first grade at home and my son who is four now is starting vpk so we have to find a curriculum for him i would be lying if i told you that we are 100 percent confident and ready for this journey and super excited and ready that does not explain our experience at all like not at all if everything that is going on in the world did not happen i probably would not have even considered homeschooling my children not that there's anything wrong with it but we just always you know that's what you do you just send your kids to school and you go to work why does it have to be that way though? But anyways, so we have made the decision to keep them home. And I'm sure as a parent, there's no decision that was easy. You know, whether you're sending your kids back to school or you're keeping your kids at home or they're doing a hybrid type situation. I can only imagine the fears that parents and any of those situations would have. But what we have decided is best for us as a family at this time is to keep the children home for this semester, this school year, however long until we feel comfortable sending our children back to school. And I don't know how long that's going to be. My husband doesn't know how long that's going to be. I don't think anyone knows what's going to happen. And, and that's something that kind of ties into or plays into our anxiety, just like the uncertainty of everything that's going on. 
But I do know one thing, I am not going to allow any mayor, any governor, the government to make decisions for my family and our safety. So Disney World can stay open. Okay, that's fine. I have no interest in going to Disney World right now. You know what I'm saying? Like certain, certain places can be open. We rarely, we rarely leave our neighborhood. We'll take the kids outside, you know, to ride their bike. We take them, they get out. You know what I'm saying? We're not, we're not in a bunker. But um, unless we absolutely have to, we're not going into stores. And when we do, hold mommy's hand, don't touch anything. They already have on their masks. You know what I mean? Like we're super safe. And call it what you want. Um, I'm not risking anything. I don't know how this virus works. I don't think that uh, the people that are making these decisions fully understand how this virus works. So for us, we're not placing the trust of our family in their hands. Um, so I say all that to say that yes, we are homeschooling this year. Are we scared shitless? Absolutely. I have no idea how this is going to work as two people that have full-time jobs, two people that are also creatives. My husband has his YouTube, he has his podcast. I have my blog that I'm trying to grow and work with brands. And then obviously I have this YouTube channel. I don't know how we are going to stay sane human beings. I'm gonna just keep it real with you. We're already struggling now with just getting a little bit of time to ourselves. Like right now, I, I said, I have to. I'm not consistent on this channel the way that I want to be. I have to take this time. So I'm just going to feel myself doing something that I would have to do anyways. So I'm taking 10 to 15 minutes for myself to do this. But realistically, when things shift in about a month or two, and we are even more burnt out than we already are, I am absolutely scared of what that's going to do with the way my anxiety and stress levels are set up right now. The fact that I am a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a full-time employee, I'm a business owner, I'm a daughter that is now a caretaker. I am scared shitless, but... I know that with any with with God anything is possible and I just have to have faith and I have to do those things that I know that are going to set me up for a better mindset. I have to write things down. I have to plan. Oh my gosh. Since all of this hit and our planning has failed as a family or I don't want to say failed, but our planning has not been the way that it should be it has been insane <laughs> so i absolutely know that going forward when we're homeschooling our children and we're working and we're trying to figure out dinner and we're trying to set a routine for our um chores and responsibilities and then we need to schedule in a little bit of time for ourselves as a couple or as individuals or as you know parents all spending time together the four of us and then Nasir and his dad Genesis and her dad Nasir and mommy Genesis and mommy I know it is going to be insane I know it's going to be insane it's all it's already insane it's already crazy so I am doing all of this rambling and I'm saying all of this to just let you know that if you are experiencing something similar you are not alone you're not alone trust me you're not alone and I don't know if that makes you feel any better um, I know for me as hypocritical as it sounds for me that doesn't really make me feel better like sometimes when my husband is feeling down he can talk to someone and if they're you know exchanging energy and they're talking about similar experiences that makes him feel better you know for me it's like that doesn't really make me feel better I just want to not feel this way so <laughs> if that does make you feel better hopefully that makes you feel better if it doesn't make you feel better that I'm hoping that as I'm experiencing different things, as I'm researching, as I'm learning, as I'm reaching out to professionals, whatever, if I can share any resources with you that I can do that. And I will be doing that. Um, yeah, I don't know how much that whole conversation helped you, but I just felt like I had to, I had to get it out there because I know that there are a lot of parents that are struggling. I know that there are a lot of people that are not parents that are struggling. There's a lot of married people that are struggling. There's a lot of single people that are struggling. There's a lot of black people that are struggling right now. And it's rough. It's hard, but you are not alone. And hopefully everything that's going on, 
you realize how much stronger it has made you and it's not making you question your self-worth. And I say that to you, but I'm also saying it to me because I'm going to be very honest. This video is all about honesty. All of my videos are, are I'm, I'm pretty honest, pretty honest. All of my videos, I'm honest. But today I am letting you know that the past few months have made me question my purpose in so many ways. Am I being the best parent? You know what I mean? I'm working full time. And not only am I working full time Monday through Friday, I'm working a stressful ass job. So I'm dealing with that on top of having to work from home, on top of having to work from home with my kids home with me. It's very difficult. So I'm questioning myself at my job. You know, why am I not getting certain things? Why is my brain mush? Why am I being thrown all of this work, but I still, I, I'm not able to, to carry it or handle it or balance it. I'm questioning myself as a parent. Why am I slaving away for this job and my kids are sitting here coloring or having to entertain themselves for eight hours a day? Oh, unless mommy gets a 15 minute break or unless mommy gets a lunch break or daddy gets a lunch break. That gives you, that fucks with your mental. I'm sorry to curse y'all, but that really fucks with your mental. And apparently this is not, this is turned into not a get ready with me video because I, I can't multitask, that has been proven. But um, that really messes with your mental when you feel like you're burnt out and you're doing the best that you can, but it's still not good enough. You know what I mean? You're still in your head. I could be doing this better. I could be doing this better. So coming from my experience, I want you to know that you are doing the best that you can. I'm sure you're doing the best that you can. I don't know you personally, but I'm sure that you're doing the best that you can. We are surviving a national, a global, a worldwide pandemic. And regardless of the situation that you're in, I sit here and I complain about having to work full time and then taking care of my kids. But the truth of the matter is someone will always have it worse. And I know you don't want to hear that because I don't want to hear that. If I'm stressed out about my job, I don't want to hear that some people don't have a job. But that's the reality. A lot of people were laid off or fired. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't have a job and they have to figure out how to take care of their kids. Or there's a lot of people that are essential workers and they have to send their kids into school. So while I'm sitting here and I'm complaining about, you know, the guilt that I have and how I'm not balancing the way that I want to, I know that I'm still in a blessed situation. And sometimes thinking of it that way does help me with my stress and my anxiety too just understanding like okay i'm working this stressful ass job but the the good thing is that i don't have that you know one hour 45 minutes to an hour commute anymore so i have more time in my day in the morning time and then after work you know i'm i'm stressed out about having to take care of my kids while doing this because i really just want to be spending time with them my kids will always come first they will always come first but I obviously need this job to take care of them. But while I'm complaining about those two things, the silver lining here is that, listen, they're home with mommy and mommy is taking care of them. Daddy's taking care of them. So they're safe and they're good. I don't know if there will ever be a time that I'm not in my head. Um, and that I guess that's just something that I have to continue to work towards or work through. But I do know that with everything that's going on, I don't give myself enough credit for how awesome I am doing. So if that is you, I'm just taking a moment to tell you first to check on you and to also let you know just to give yourself some grace. Give yourself applause because I'm sure you're doing a great job. I want you to understand that you're seen and that you're heard and that you're valued and that you're worthy. And as crazy as it sounds, yes, I'm bringing it full circle back to my brand, but that's what inspired me creating the worthy shirt because I was not feeling worthy. I was not feeling valued. 
I just see myself as being stressed out, high anxiety, you know, having these these mood swings that I couldn't really explain. But being human, but just as a reminder to myself, Jen, you're doing a bomb ass job. You're doing awesome and you're worthy of greatness. You're worthy of love, regardless of what anyone says. The rejection that you've gotten in the corporate world or you not growing the way that you want to as a blogger or a YouTuber or comparing yourself to other people. Stop all the bullshit and just realize how important you are because you really, really, really are a gift from God and you're worthy. So I'm just going to continue to make my face up because clearly this was a get ready with me fail. I hope that you are taking time for yourself today. I love you guys and I will, will be back in the next video with a little more positivity and less rambling, okay? If you haven't already, if you can just take a moment to like, comment, or subscribe, let me know that I'm doing a good job. Let me know what type of content you want to see because the feedback really does help me bring more value to you. I love you guys. Bye. So this is the final look and this is the look that I wanted to walk you through but my emotions and my babbling got the best of me. So I'm sorry guys that I wasn't able to give you a walkthrough, but I'll still link the products down below. Um, and if you guys do want that walkthrough, let me know and I will give you a tutorial minus my babbling.